want to kiss, but I actually wanted to kiss and you said no. So am I supposed to give you a kiss or am I supposed to not give you a kiss? Let me know. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Queen J Nicole and I'm back at it again with another video. I don't even know what I'm coming here to talk about. I know a little of just of what I'm coming here to talk about, but I don't have nothing written down. I don't have no plan or nothing. I just have something on my mind and I need to make a video and post it. So why not? I'm um, sitting here thinking about pride and how my pride really gets in the way of things sometimes, especially when it comes to love. When it comes to affection and stuff like that. By the way, y'all, I know I look crazy, but it is what it is. This is real life here. Y'all come over here. This is real life. Period. But, yeah, man, my pride really gets in the way of me receiving the type of love that I want to receive. And me giving the type of love that I want to give, honestly. Because it's like, for example, like, let me know if y'all can relate in the comments also. But... For example, if you're upset about something that has nothing to do with the people who are currently around you. So let's say, I'm going to go even further into the example. So let's say you have a boyfriend and something makes you mad or upset outside of him. Um, and he's able to tell visually um, through your body language and everything through your tone when you respond to him and everything. And so, um, by him being able to tell, of course, naturally, his response, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Or whatever, whatever. But it's like, you are so prideful as an individual that when he asks you what's wrong and tells you to come here, you don't want to come here. When he tells you, oh, give me a hug. If you're upset, you don't really want to give, you, give the hug, but you want the hug. And it's like... How is anybody supposed to ever know what you want and what you don't want? If you can't tell them what you want or... Oh my gosh. Just crazy. And the fact that... Huh? What, babe? You can talk. I was sitting here talking about my pride and how it be getting in the way of me receiving affection and stuff like that. And giving it. Because it's no reason why I should not want to hug you when I'm mad. But it's just like, that's really my pride. I don't be wanting to, I don't be, it's like, I don't be wanting to be vulnerable when I'm upset. But I still want the affection. I just don't want to, okay, yeah, I don't want to hug or like ask for a hug or nothing. I just want it to be given. And that's not good. It's not good. Oh but yeah, I but that's not necessarily what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, I get it, but it's kind of when you're yeah. in that moment. You, when you're in that moment, you kind of get like, yeah, it's you, like it's like you want all the affection, but you don't you don't necessarily want to ask for it. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to give it because you would give. You I would give it back. It. I just don't want to initiate yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sorry. so it's like, see, they always understand. But sometimes it's like you got to get past the misunderstanding to understand. Like you can't always fix the problem while it's still a problem. At least that's that's where we are right now. Like sometimes you just got to literally take a deep breath, take a walk, and then come back and have a discussion about what the problem was. Instead of trying to fix it in the midst of it being a problem because... Sometimes your head is not as clear to really think about stuff and say what you really want to say when you're that upset. But yeah, I wasn't even talking about that. I was just talking about how, you know, the way we was raised, I feel like is the biggest factor on why my pride at least is so high. Like when I was younger, my family members didn't really show their affection that good. Like, my mom was the only one that really hugged us and kissed us sometimes and, like, told us she loved us. But 
my grandmother didn't do that to her and her brothers and sisters uh so as far as receiving that type of love and that type of affection from other members of the family it was literally like something i only got from my mom even my sister battles with that i'm pretty sure she will be able to tell y'all that she battles with being able to show her affection in certain ways because of the way we were raised and not saying anything bad on my mom because my mom did tremendously well compared to how she was raised when it comes to saying I love you, giving hugs and kisses and stuff like that. But still, when they say it takes a village to raise a child, they mean every single person involved in that child's life plays such a big role in that child's life that they can't be affected by them, even if you don't see them a lot. Like, I didn't even see my family a lot because I moved to Houston when I was five and I was raised out here. But it's like when you when you grow up only seeing people like not knowing how to say they love each other, not knowing how to give a hug without joking and not knowing how to really be serious about love. It does affect you in the long run. And I'm I'm starting to realize that and I'm able to admit that because I don't want to be that way. Like I want to be able to face my feelings and my emotions head on and be like, okay i do want to hug like i'm feeling upset right now i do want to hug i do want to kiss or whatever like that'll make everything so much easier really would <sighs> but yeah that's really all i came on here for i just need to vent a little bit be honest with myself because that's another thing it'd be hard to really be honest with yourself sometimes when you're being prideful because you don't want to admit your wrongs you don't want to admit that you have work to do and that you can do better honestly because we take pride in everything we do so you know knowing that you are thinking that you just got it and you good and you working on it it sounds good but when you really take a deeper look nine times out of ten you can admit that you got more work to do and that's okay and i'm talking to myself it's okay it's okay to have more work to do as long as you know that and you really feel that shit because the minute you start to let your pride make you feel like you just got it that's when you start to not give a fuck about growth and about being better hold on real quick <clears throat> so yeah i just came on here to tell y'all my business without telling y'all my business leave a little comment down below if you can relate even the slightest bit because i love to chit chat with you but yeah i really really do want to work on my pride and work on being a loving individual no matter what emotion i'm feeling because it's not fair to other people to not be and how you going to stay matter of fact since he brought up that tiktok let me tell y'all about that tiktok because I, it is kind of similar to where i'm feeling but i was talking shit about her last night she was saying how she have a different love language that she gives than the one that she wants to receive and at first i was like okay that's understandable until she said for example i would want um like i want my husband to kiss on me and stuff and hug me but i'm not going to reciprocate it and it's like how are you in a marriage and you know that you crave being hugged you crave being kissed and told i love you and these things but you just not gonna reciprocate like you're not gonna even try you're not gonna even like even if that's not your husband love language i'm pretty sure that man wants to be hugged and kissed on like i mean i guess not everybody wants to be hugged and kissed on but maybe that's just her business and her and her husband talk about that and they have understanding to where she it works but that made me think like how do you you 
want a hug and can't give a hug or want a kiss but can't give a kiss and now i'm sitting here saying similar things and it's like you want a hug but when somebody asks you if you want a hug you act like you don't want a hug so do you want a hug or do you not want a hug who knows <laughs> Like you, you wanted to kiss, but I actually wanted to kiss, and you said no. So, am I supposed to give you a kiss, or am I supposed to not give you a kiss? Let me know. It'd be hard for me to let a nigga know. That's the problem. Just need to start being real with myself. Like, yes, I do want to hug. Okay, I do. It's cool. It's okay to be vulnerable with the people that you love. That's what I feel like was screwed up when we was being raised because it's like at least for me i was kind of not taught but kind of like subconsciously taught that it's not okay to be vulnerable because you're weak or you know what i'm saying like you a cry baby you um any words you can think of that makes you feel like okay well next time i'm not gonna cry next time i'm not gonna fucking go over to my mama and get a hug or you know what I'm saying like that stuff really do be affecting us and we don't be realizing that man so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video it's getting longer than I expected it to I just want to come and vent talk to y'all for a little bit cause I need to upload so in the comment section let me know um we're going to make a commitment to each other. I'm going to work on being more vulnerable when I'm emotional. So that means if I'm upset, if I'm, if I'm, whatever emotion I'm feeling, I still need to keep my vulnerability, meaning be honest with myself in the way I'm feeling and how I want to go about things. Staying calm instead of getting when I'm upset and stuff like that so that's what I'm working on you can either tell yourself what you're working on or let me know in the comments if you feel like sharing it with everybody I'd love to hear it let us know what you're working on and yeah hopefully pretty soon we'll have an update video we can talk about our growth and things like that and if I fuck up I'm gonna be real with y'all that I fucked up I'm gonna let y'all know and it's gonna be a little story time okay period see y'all the next one